Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 22nd, 2019. Hey everyone, I want to apologize. I had almost had the completely had the blog put together and I had a power outage that only lasted a couple of minutes, but it wiped out the entire blog. So this morning there will be no written blog. I recreated a couple things that were really easy to recreate, but I do have time to get the video out this morning. So I wanted to um, let you know, I apologize. Um, sometimes, you know, snafus happen and it was completely out of my control. Let's take a look at what's going on in the markets. First, we have futures pointing just a little bit lower this morning, a little bit of pressure here on the market. News out that there could be um, problems, uh, the trade war turning into a tech war, and that's creating some concern in the market. So as you can see, what we've done here recently is every single day, we're gapping up or gapping down, gapping up and gapping down, and we're getting reversals almost every morning, making this market very, very challenging. So I just want to say this to everyone out there that may be struggling or finding this market just extremely difficult. You are not alone. This is a very, very tough market to trade with uh, the news reports and a very news driven, whippy type market where where we're um, gapping um, virtually every morning and gapping in a reversal. So pretty darn difficult to know what to do here um, in these charts. So uh, please understand you are not alone. If you're frustrated, um, that is pretty normal when we see a market like this. Let's take a look at what the index charts show us here for potential in the overall market. First off, we see we're, we rallied up nicely here in the Dow yesterday and we rallied above this little resistance area. And you noticed that I've put this kind of double layer in here on that um, on that chart because I think that 260 uh, or 26,000 in the market is a significant level of resistance and if you pull that back you can see that running back through the chart for quite a ways um, that level has been pretty important for the market so if we continue to rally if the bulls can grab a hold of this this morning and come off of these uh, this little gap down this morning um, I would watch that level right there for potential resistance. My guess is there will be some kind of a defense by the bears right in that area. And we'll want to keep an eye on that pretty closely. However, if the sellers take over here with those fears starting to creep in on a tech war, you can see that dropping down below this little level right here, we could see some pressure coming into that market. Now, I want to remind everyone, this should not be that big a surprise. At least at this point in time, the diamonds is holding a downtrend. This is a lower high. This could certainly just just be nothing more than a bearish flag in that chart. So we have to be really, really careful um, as, as we think about long trades as we move toward that resistance level. I know it gets really tempting. We see all those charts starting to move up. We see all these start charts coming up out of these bottoms. We think it's over. We jump in and we happen to jump in just before we hit resistance and turn lower. So be really, really careful here as we move toward those significant levels of resistance in the chart. If we do happen to see selling and we do happen to get that bearish move, down we could come all the way back down here and keep in mind that most price bottoms most price bottoms require that test lower that happens most of the time in charts and can certainly occur right here we even had over on here where we had more of a v bottom we had that move down and move up and then there was a that significant candle move lower big point move lower so we get those um patterns like that that occur in a lot of uh, price bottoms. So don't be surprised if that is created over here. Let's take a look at the uh, SPY real quick. SPY, very similar situation, rallying up nicely. I think there's a range in here where, with multiple levels of resistance um, here in the SPY. But as you look at that chart, we just creeped above that level that I've got marked right here in the chart. And you can see these levels carry all the way back 
that's an important level right there in the chart and we happen to break above it just a tiny little bit and now this morning we're gapping back down just below that so if sellers kind of jump on this we could easily see that selling moving down into this next level of support however if the bulls pick it up if the bulls say nope we're not going to allow this market to go lower then we could see that move up into this area right in here uh, for that next level of resistance. Please keep in mind that all of these indexes are still beneath their 50 day moving average. And there's a multiple moving average um, layer up here providing that um, resistance above. So it's gonna take some momentum. It's gonna take some uh, uh, something good to really move us through there. I think we'll have to watch, wait and see. Let's take a look at uh, the cues real quick. The Q's um, having a nice day yesterday, moving back up. Whoops, darn it, I'm on a two day chart. Q's moving back up and we're moving back into this resistance level. And this resistance level right here, pretty darn uh, difficult for the Q's to move through. And as you can see, if we start looking this morning, we're gonna open up about right here in the Q's. Um, there's some serious issues going on out there and serious concern of uh, the trade war turning into a tech war. And so we're going to see NASDAQ maybe falter just a little bit, a little bit of pressure coming in on that NASDAQ. If those sellers pick this up and carry this lower, we do have a good level of support down in here. But that would be pretty darn harsh in a move and might be pretty upsetting for some of the market. So kind of watch that closely. And um, there's other things that go Going on, I guess Qualcomm um, had a ruling from a judge against them on an antitrust thing, and they're they're dropping like a 10, 11%, I think is what I saw this morning. So looking pretty ugly there on Qualcomm, and that won't be helping this tech sector at all. Now, having said that, if the bulls do pick this up in here and say, nope, we're not gonna allow it go, to go down, this resistance level is gonna be really, really critical. We're gonna have to watch that very closely. And um, even up into here, we'll have to watch that closely because we will still be within a downtrend if we can rally up into there. So watch that closely. If we run into trouble, those sellers could really start to pile on. And then last but not least is IWM. And interestingly enough, IWM decided to buck the trend of everything yesterday and just be one of the stronger indexes, which is interesting. It's been one of the weakest indexes for a long, long time. And um, it, just, it just rallied, rallied, rallied yesterday, uh, nice and strong. And you can see this morning, interestingly enough, it is is getting a little teeny tiny gap down but very little gap down it's kind of ignoring what's going on in the overall market so we have a strong resistance level in this chart and you can see it right here if we move up into there we'll want to watch that as price resistance if it can go beyond that notice this is another very strong resistance level right here that we'll want to be paying attention to in the IWM chart so watch that closely also keep in mind, this is still below its 50 day moving average and below its 200, it's 34, it's 20. There's a lot of price resistance right here in that area. So um, watch that if it happens to breach or if it happens to fail right at that area. Let's take a look at the VIX real quick. Now the VIX yesterday did a really good job of fear kind of creeping out of the market and falling below this key level of support I've talked about many times. This level right in here, I said that I'm not really worried about the sell-off right in here. Where I get worried about the sell-off is if it holds this level of support and we start uh, seeing that fear come in. That's where we get these really big fear spikes in the market right off of that level. And that's not what I want to see obviously in the market. However, <clears throat> we slipped right back below this level. And now this morning we're getting a little bit of fear creeping into the market again. So don't be too surprised if we rally back up into this area. And if selling really picks up, we could spike up off of there. So watch um, the, the VIX closely. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. I plot that as just a, a simple 
uh, line chart and you can see what it does is it gives me these really good um, this really good indicator uh, when we're kind of overpriced in the market where we're kind of overpriced uh, underpriced in the market and we get those reversals and so yesterday we did get that reversal <clears throat> off of this area and it moved us quite sharply higher whoops I'm sorry I don't know how I'm getting over to a two-day chart, but I'm on a two-day chart. Let's fix that. There we go. And so as you can see right in here, we're holding this support level right in this area and uh, bounced right off of right where we would expect we would, just almost identical to what happened um, uh, the, the last little bounce rally and we've rallied up strongly right into this area and you can see that what uh, what t2122 does is it doesn't tell us what direction the market should be going um, per se it just tells us when we've reached oversold or oversold um, overbought conditions and so what this tells us right here in t2122 is we have plenty of room for the market to move up higher before we reach any oversold condition we also have a significant um, opening to the downside if those bears decide to jump on here and, and push us back down kind of like we did in these areas so watch that pretty closely today and stay very focused on that price action I think anything is possible um, in that price action today let's take a quick look at our economic calendar today economic calendar has a couple things we want to be paying attention to as you can see, nothing major this morning. We have uh, <clears throat> Fed speakers, um, you know, throughout the morning. Lots of that Fed parade continuing to move on here. Lots of Fed speakers going on. Um, we had the mortgage applications here at 7 a.m. Um, that really hasn't helped the market at all. We do have that EIA petroleum status report. Now that's going to be an important um, report for today. The, that has the potential of moving those oil stocks around and that can either help or hurt the overall market. So you want to keep an eye on that EIA report at 1030. But then the big Mac Daddy of the day, I don't think we're going to learn anything new from the FOMC minutes. Um, I would be surprised if we did. Um, after all of these Fed speakers, I mean, they're just speaking all week. I doubt we're going to learn anything new. But um, the market always has a tendency of waiting, being patient, um, chopping around until that report comes out. So kind of keep that in mind. We could see really, after the morning rush, we could see some really light, choppy price action as we wait for that FOMC minutes report so kind of keep that in mind as we move forward so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and if this is the first time you've seen these videos please do me a favor please click that subscribe button there on youtube the follow me button on facebook click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment you guys thank you so much for those of you who take the time to do that it means so much to me i can't even i can't even tell you um, how humbling it is that so many folks write so many nice kind comments um, on those videos thank you very much for everyone who takes the time to do that and that makes a huge difference in the growth of the channel the more people that leave comments um, the the more those videos are shown uh, to folks and so I truly truly appreciate it purpose of the of, of the YouTube channel is not to make any money the purpose of the YouTube channel is to try and help other traders um, do a better job with their trading do a better job with their morning preparation so with that everyone I want to say thank you very very much for your help um, in growing this channel you guys are awesome and please feel free to share this video with any friends and family so how about we take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up stocks that have held up really really well stocks looking pretty good now yesterday if you remember I mentioned CNC CNC is a rounded bottom breakout pattern and I also mentioned that this is one of those patterns that produces really good results for me over and over and over and that rounded bottom breakout pattern is really nothing more than the stock has been in a downtrend sharp downtrend we have the 200 day moving average above price the 
the stock breaks back above its 50-day moving average and it normally comes back for a test it breaks above comes back for a test that gives time for that 50-day moving average to start laying down flat and starting to roll over notice the other moving averages starting to cross over that 50 day moving average and we create what's called a moving average squeeze all of those moving averages squeeze into one tight area providing that nice little price support for the chart <clears throat> Okay, and yesterday, CNBC, uh, CNC, just as uh, the pattern uh, kind of showed and I talked about yesterday, popped that stock out and we're moving higher um, right now in CNC. So nice little round of bottom breakout. Whether this can continue or not, I don't know. By the way, the ultimate target in this pattern is up here at the 200 day moving average. We often get that move straight up into there, but we do have to respect price resistance levels in the chart that can stop it temporarily. We don't normally go up in a straight line. We'll go up and we'll pull back and we'll go up. But right up in here is where we wanna look for that ultimate target in that trade pattern. Great pattern and I trade it over and over and over in the market. Um, other charts that you might wanna be taking a look at is take a look at Shopify. Shopify holding up really, really well, showing strength holding above its support level, holding above its trend. Now, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this do a little bit more consolidating this direction and try to catch up to its trend a little bit. We'll have to wait and see and watch on that, but Shopify continuing to look pretty good and might uh, might be one that you want to have on your watch list and remember any of the charts that I show in these videos are not meant for a buy or sell what they're meant to do is provide you with some stocks to put on a watch list to evaluate to look at those price patterns that um, effectively work over and over and over and uh, keep an eye on those in case they do become a potential trade let's take a look <clears throat> at PepsiCo one of the things that's been going on in the market is the um, the consumer defensive sector has been relatively strong and staying strong. But now yesterday we had a big move down here in PepsiCo, a little bearish engulfing candle coming into play. If that moves back into this level of support and then moves its way over to the trend, there may be another opportunity in there. So kind of keep an eye on PepsiCo. Um, it's not ready for prime time here. I'm not ready for a trade by any means, but certainly um, holding a beautiful trend to the upside and we'll wanna keep an eye on that. MDLZ is another one of those holding up very, very well. You can see MDLZ made 52 week highs, a new, new blue sky highs here in the chart. And we're consolidating that move after popping up there. My suggestion would be that this probably moves sideways, maybe even pulls back a little bit, moves over to its trend to give it give us the next opportunity in the trade. By the way, um, I have a pattern that I use all the time. I call it pop out of the box. And anytime we get a small range, small range candles that go at least four days sideways, I start watching for that potential move higher. It's where we just pop out of a very tight area. There's no sellers underneath this area there's no buyers above and what we have to do is wait for that signal that buyers are stepping in to push it higher here's a here's a pattern that um, we made uh, right way options made some really good money on here just recently in Apple and right there is that that consolidation minimum of four days in that nice tight consolidation and there's those buyers stepping in real easy trade to make money notice how important it is though to have that trend marked on the chart we move over toward the trend and then those buyers step up and show themselves and we can move with those buyers and make some nice money on trades like that so good chart pattern to be paying attention to um, other than that, there are um, other charts that I am keeping a pretty close eye on. I'm keeping a really close eye on Disney. You can see Disney moved up very, very sharply, and I marked this trend on the chart, and I can't tell you for sure if this is going to be the trend or not, but I do have those connecting lower lows right there. And 
<clears throat> what I'm watching right here is this level of price resistance in the chart. And as you can see, if I draw that up, that creates this little price wedge in here. And we're getting that nice little tight consolidating price move over here in Disney. So as this moves closer and closer to that trend, you can see we now have that four days in that tight consolidating um, uh, pattern right here. If that continues to move over toward the trend, I'm going to be watching closely for that next entry signal into that trade. So Disney is one that could be setting up. How about Ford? <clears throat> Doggone Ford. I bought, I am actually holding Ford, bought this and I told everybody it was probably a little bit early into the trade. But what I like about the chart is the fact that it moved up above this resistance level and it's holding above that level as support. So I don't know, and you can see I've put a trend line here. I don't know if this is going to be the trend line because I don't have that confirmation of buyers picking this up yet to show me where that trend is actually uh, going to be. But as I watch this pattern develop, um, uh, this is a little bit wide range, but as long as the stock stays up above this level right in here and continues to hold on, I want to watch and watch this for the possibility of those buyers stepping through to the upside on those trades so watch that closely now i've given you some long trades i'm going to give you a couple of short trades ideas here really really quick take a look at uh valero energy uh vlo vlo was a failure right here you can see moving up there's that failure pattern possible short trade setup uh downtrending failing if we break down through here i would suggest vlo moves lower if um, that does occur keep an eye on that um, ebay <clears throat> eBay showing that possibility of a failure right here and eBay showing that failure right here at the 50 day moving average. So we have all of that, all of that evidence right here that we can't push through that level. And there is the possibility of that failure uh, moving us down into this area. So you'll want to keep an eye on eBay um, if that happens to slip and fail, um, particularly with pressure on the market today. Um, Nike. Nike is another that is showing some signs of pressure here uh, for a downside move, and we'll want to keep an eye on Nike. Um, right in here is our downtrend, and that's holding pretty steady here. A little pressure on this failure. Um, we did pop up a little bit yesterday, but now this bearishness in the market could cause some problems. You can see we're gonna open right about where we closed. And if we start to slip, there is a big level of price support right here. And if we were to drop below that, Nike could really move lower. Um, sharply so watch that closely so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits and please do me a favor click that subscribe button and and leave a comment i truly appreciate that and click those thumbs up buttons you guys um, do such a great job of that i thank you very much with that everyone have a great day i wish you all the best we'll talk to you bright and early on thursday morning take care now